Hi there, this is Mrs. Piper. For this assignment, we are focusing on texture. We're still keeping in mind the idea of creating unity in your work, um, but we are focusing on the texture of the leaves and repetition of the shape of the leaf. So for this project, you're gonna need an empty cereal box that you're going to cut apart. And let me just show you, I've already cut out the back of this box. So you're going to need the side of a cereal box. You're also going to need your glue and a variety of leaves. Now, you have a couple of choices. You could focus on a variety of different shapes. You'll notice that I've got um, four different shaped leaves. I've got a small, medium, and large of this one, but then I've got three separate ones that don't look very similar to these three. So this would be nice if you want to create um, a sense of variety in your composition, which is fine. But I really want to focus on repetition to create unity. So I have my cardboard box and I have a variety of the same type of leaf. But you'll notice that I've got different sizes. I've got a large I've got medium, and I've got a couple of real small ones. Now, for this, te for this texture assignment, you're going to want to make sure that your leaves, when you glue them down, are glued with the veins up. This side of the leaf is a lot more smooth. I want the bumpy side. So, um, when you have decided which leaves you want to use and how you want to arrange them, you're going to take your Elmer's glue. You're going to put some glue on the back. And you're going to set it down where you want it to just tack it in place. So, once you've decided which leaves you want to use and where you want to position them, you're going to glue them down. Now, if they're crumbly, you have to be very careful. So I'm hoping that they have just been removed from the, the tree not too long ago. I picked these up while I was walking, so they had just fallen. They're still a little bit crunchy but hopefully it'll be okay. And once I'm done gluing them down, I'm going to let them set up to dry. So, once you've chosen your leaves and you have cut out the cereal box so that you have a firm board to glue them to, and once you've arranged them and glued them with Elmer's, you're going to sit and let them dry. And I'll be right back to show you what you're going to do next. Thank you for